Tonight, anticipation is high in Toledo East after a full day of voting in the by-election to elect a new area representative after the death of longtime incumbent Mike Espat. A total of 7,725 registered voters had three candidates to choose from, Dennis Williams for the UDP, Osman Martinez for the PUP and Will Mejia for the PNP. At 5 p.m., a total of 4,227 voters, or 54%, had come out. And the turnout is expected to be comparable to the 2020 figure of 68%. But which side had the advantage on the ground today? Courtney Mezes joins us live from the counting station for this large division, the Toledo Community College in Punta Gorda town. Courtney, welcome. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Indira. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it looks like out there at this time, uh, Courtney. Well, you know, the polls closed at 6, so we were right here in front of St. Peter Claver Primary School. We literally saw them close the gates because that's it. If you haven't gotten your vote in by now, well, you just missed out on, on, on that opportunity. Um, throughout the day, we were seeing people trickling in. There was not any huge lines um, is it in here in PG Tong. Now, we also went to Bella Vista. That's where the crowd was. That's where the energy was. And they had definitely the highest voter turnout. They had about 1.5K uh, voters that came out in at that polling station. Um, over here, it wasn't as much here in the, in the Tong. But we did see slightly more numbers in the afternoon. There were, you know, like 400 between, um, I think, three and four and then another 500 after that so we saw people coming out in the afternoon but it never got to that point where you know it was high energy and it was a surge of people uh did you notice anything outstanding today what was the most outstanding thing that happened based on what you saw on the ground i think it was just how much ministers and politicians were down here. We had mayors from Orange Walk. We had mayors from Cayo. You know, we had ministers. That, uh, the prime minister was here. It, it's his birthday, and he was here. Um, we had uh, Minister Kevin Bernard, uh, Karim Musa, uh, Francis Fonseca. So we had a lot of PUP ministers here in, in uh, Toledo East. And I think uh, one of the candidates, Will Mahia, he pointed out something really interesting when we interviewed him. He said, you know, when we had those wildfires in Toledo, we didn't see all these ministers here. And now it's election time and, and they're all here. So that was definitely an interesting perspective that, that he gave. We also saw um, UDP politicians, but mostly standard bearers and councillors and, and the mayor, uh, Mayor Trapp, as well as the leader of the opposition. So it was definitely, I think there was a, a big economic boost here in, in PG today because there was a lot of people who aren't from here that were here today. And how would you call the local crowd? I mean, since you said you had a lot of outer towners, how would you call the local crowd in terms of support? Who had the majority in terms of local PG people? Well, I, in terms of the camps itself, we definitely saw more energy at the PUP camps, but I think it's because, you know, they had the ministers, the way the PUP did it, and maybe the UP did the same, where they had a plan where there's a, a person who was manning every post station. So, for example, the one in Indianville, it was uh, Mr. Fonseca who was manning that. So he was in charge of that area, getting people out, getting people uh, to vote. So, um, so those camps, I think, had more energy. But I don't want to say anything about the UDP camp not having energy. They did have their people out here today. But I think I saw a lot more blue shirts. Um, but in terms of the the people, the regular everyday people of, of PG, I think that and I've said this before in my live reports that PG has always been a very calm, tranquil place. And, and that carried out even today. We didn't see them, you know, extra super hype and making a lot of noise and whatnot. They were just carrying about their day. It's a, it's a normal Wednesday here in PG, basically. Well, you told us a lot about the PUP ministers that were on the ground. How did it look on the UDP side? How many ministers? Did you see any ministers? What was their uh, mobilization like? Well, the leader of the opposition, he was here. Um, and then Hugopat, he, the, he was also here. No other um, representatives from the UDP were here. So we didn't see Tracy Panton, but I understand she has an illness, a physical illness that 
has not allowed her to, to attend house meetings as well. Um, Patrick Faba wasn't here. And of course, you know, uh, Sister V wasn't here as well. So it was just in terms of representatives. But like I said, they had um, councillors from the um, the Kayo Tong Council. They were out here today. And also Standard Bearers, we saw and Castro. Well, he's not a Standard Bearer, but mm. we saw him out here. We saw Beverly Williams out here. So we did see... Uh, the support from, from the UDP crowd, they were out here, not as much as the PUP crowd, of course, because we deal with, we have to deal with resources and whatnot, but they were definitely out here showing their support. And if you were to give an assessment of Will and his team, what would you say their presence were down in PG today? They're showing. Well, they definitely had the smallest showing. They had minimal support. We did see some green shirts and they did have their tents. But it was be like maybe three, four people at the tents or okay. or whatnot. We also spoke to Will Mahia today, and mm -hmm. he was visiting. I would say that he probably visited most of the villages as much as he could. Um, he's probably one of the only ones who would make it to Graham Creek because you know that's that's no task for him. He loves going um, up and down Toledo. So I would say that he definitely had some support, but he had the most uh, the lowest showing. There were very few green shirts. Thank you so much, Courtney. I know that we'll be hearing a little bit more from you at the end of the news as things pick up over there. So we'll certainly keep you on spot for our viewers at home. Thank you for that update, and we'll be seeing you a little bit later on in the news. Thank you, too.